we did it. Come on. There's a huge amount of work in that. We need buildings to be retrofitted. We're going to train workers to do that. There's Who's going to pay for jobs. it? Who's going to pay for the retrofit? The building owners, when they get the retrofit, make the money back over time because they don't spend as much on money. Do you know how much retrofitting could cost a building in New York? Sure. Millions. And that's what we need. And you know what I think they're going to do? Well, as I always say, that corporations don't pay taxes. They pass it on to consumers. They're going to raise the rent. Unless, of course, you confiscate the building, which you said you might do if they raise rent. No, oh, no, wait, we didn't say yeah. anything like that. But if they, they're they're that. going to raise the rent on people, so the people are going to pay for the rent. We are going to demand of building owners, build green, stop the greenhouse gas emissions that are killing all of us. I know you care about your children, your grandchildren. I don't care about my children, their grandchildren. About everyone in the city. So we cannot go on this way. We need a Green New Deal, and one of the key things is to make sure buildings don't emit what they used to. Now, that means a lot of jobs for people to fix those buildings, retrofit okay. those buildings, okay. build them green, and so, yeah, I assume, and I know, it's going to cost those, more. Those building owners are doing very, very well. It's going to help out, out in the long run. Right. You say that is, is people have unlimited resources. There are some people that I know that own apartments that have lost money on apartments. There are people that I know that own buildings that have lost money on buildings. I believe you, but this is something we can make the money back. But here's the option. If we don't do something, right, then this earth is in great danger. We're in the city of Hattie. How many years do we got left? This, how dangerous is it? It's very dangerous. Ten years? The UN estimate is 12 years before we deal with much deeper problems. Well, then what the hell are we arguing for? Let's throw a big party. If it's only 12 years, now, let's get to work. Let's get to work. The Green New Deal gives us that opportunity. If you are going to eliminate steel and glass, and it's going to be tens of millions of dollars. eliminate it. We say, if you don't put the right to punish it. Know. It's funny how he mentions a lot of times where it's like, well, he, he's not even proactive on the fact that, like, he, if you want to take care of the problem now, no, let's wait 12 years first before we fix the problem. Like, oh, it's just so painstakingly annoying and frustrating and triggering all at the same time. But right now, I, like, I understand you guys are probably getting triggered by this too. We have to understand this is what is going on, like, really is what is going on. The truth needs to be set. Oh, put the retrofits in, put the, if you want okay. stainless glass, build it more. green. Build, build it green. more. Build it green. Okay. That means that everyone that rents those rooms or rents those offices or rents those apartments are going to pay more. My question is, exactly. do you have an alternative? Do you want, are there other build, are there other you materials? Are there other materials that you can use besides steel and glass? Yeah, they're sharp. Well, start coming. I'm not the yeah. expert on building materials, but there's a lot of innovation. We're going to use there. Here's some picks and trees. trees. No, we can't use trees. Sean, Tell them status trees. quo is not working. The earth is more and more endangered. Sandy, you saw what Sandy did. Hurricane Sandy in New York City. Okay? Yep. Look status quo, Mr. Billion dollars. Well, it'll take 12 years, right? Well, no, that's not going to work anymore. Damage. Lives, thousands of lives lost. We have to change. This is the way buildings are one of the biggest emitters out there. We have to do something about it. this law in New York City is the toughest. You need the materials. What are the alternative? I will materials? happily get you a list of building materials. I have the list. The point I'm making to you is mm -hmm. if we do the status quo, we are endangering the future of this city and this nation. Okay, Period. so that means mil tens and hundreds of millions of dollars in additional cost to build a new building and retrofit an old building. Hang on. Those costs will be put on the, so, the residents of New York. So you want to do nothing? And say I want to do something. So wait, you're not giving me an answer. What do you want to do? Honestly, how do you want to stop? I don't buy into this UN hysteria, but that's a separate You don't issue. think there's global warming? I think I think there is absolutely issues. Yeah. We need to be good stewards. Let me finish. Of our environment, and by being good stewards, but on the other hand, we have to understand something: the lifeblood of America's economy. Wait, wait, wait! And you're not answering. Follow, 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 follow the bounty ball. Not that right. global warming. Here's what I'm telling you. You believe we have a problem? The lifeblood. Follow, follow me, and you're going to get your answer. The lifeblood of every economy in this world is oil, gas, and coal. Now, in the New Green Deal, in 10 years, it says it wants to eliminate all use of oil, gas, and coal. Do you support that? I support us as quickly as possible. Not answering again. If you, you have any elective sentence finished, 
First of all, you didn't yeah. answer, so I'll start and then I'll get When you get it. your own, I, I'll make a deal. I believe when, when I'm running for president and you get your own show, you get to ask the question. Well, my show, I'll ask the question. Don't you guess you don't have an honest opinion? I have an honest opinion. Okay. Well, I, my job is to ask no the question. You're not going to be president? Yes. Okay, answer my question. You said, well, I will ask you not. again. Oil and gas are the life we of our economy. We have fossil fuels. We have to make sure people in those How industries. How long you ban it? As quickly as possible. We have to make sure people in years? those industries get jobs. New hurt. Green Deal says 10 yes. years. Get off fossil fuels. How many years? But get people in those industries jobs in the green the quickest quickly as possible. Okay, so Linda didn't work out. All the Green New Deals no. that Obama didn't work out. So wait a minute. You're saying to me you do not believe in global warming. I am saying to you just the opposite. I am saying to you we should be good stewards of our environment. And I so am what saying, do you want to do different? And I am recognizing, what do you want to do different? I am recognizing a truth that you fail to recognize. That every economy in this world is run on oil, gas, and coal. And if America gets off it, as the Green New Deal that you support has in 10 years, you will watch the greatest depression in the quickest period of time. So, and it will destroy the Americans. It, no. Germany, where they, they import natural gas from the idiot Putin. Germany that has moved to renewables so aggressively. No, they haven't. Yes, they have. have they? And they are. Merkel just signed a seven billion dollar deal. To and it will destroy the Americans. It, no. Germany, where they, they import natural gas from the idiot Putin. Germany that has moved to renewables so aggressively. No, they haven't. Yes, they have. have they? And they are. Merkel just signed a seven billion dollar deal to make As Russia the, rich again. The question is: Make America great again. Make Russia rich again. Holy fucking shit. You know, you're, this you're, isn't your show again. I, I, it is. See what it says up there? Hand and tea. It doesn't say the Blasio. I ask the question, you want to be president, right? I, I want question. to be really clear. We have to get off fossil fuels because it's causing... How many war. years? I want it to be as fast as possible. But here's the bottom line. 10, 15, here's the bottom line. We can turn to renewables. We can create jobs with renewables. 10, 15, 20 years to get on the fucking fact that you guys don't want to lose your fucking money. To protect our children and you. Unfucking believable. I think you can trans. What you're saying is you think we can transfer our dependence on oil, gas, and coal. Yes. And transition to renewables. Renewables. Okay. Now my question is. What are the renewables and how much do they cost? Okay. Right now, I look at the equation. Why way, do are, you care power, solar power, how much hydro, they cost? We have a lot of room for wind power in New York. Well, there you go. Well, you can put it in Long Island Sound, which is what people are talking about. We'll talk so, about you the Kennedy compound. The bottom line is these are technologies that are working all over the world. And if we don't change quick, we're in a lot of danger. I care about what's going to happen to the future generations. And I don't like what I see. These weather events, they're not mistakes, Sean. Okay. This stuff is flooding, the wildfires. It's happening because of global warming. We can't go on this way. In the 70s, you can look at Time magazine and it said that the new ice age is coming. Then it was in the 80s, the world is overheating. Then it's now this generality that is climate change that fits every climate condition. Even Ocasio-Cortez, Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, as chief of staff, said, oh, Green New Deal had nothing to do with climate change. It's about an agenda. All right, moments ago, I pressed New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio on his big government agenda and even had him explain his support for Meatless Mondays for students. Take a look. I want to deal with two more issues and then, you know, you should go out and buy me a drink. And, uh, by the way, you're not going to, like, get rid of... Can we put salt back on the tables in New York? Why did, we, why did Mayor Bloomberg take away salt shaker from the tables? I'm a big guy. I'm a smart guy. I like to make that decision on my own. I don't drink big gulps, but don't you think people should have the choice if they want to drink them to drink them? I actually believe in freedom, but I think there are some very... Thank you. I want you to know. You don't want big gulps. No, listen. But there are some very common sense things we do. Now, listen. You don't make it easy for a kid to drink a huge amount of soda. They want to buy soda, they can buy soda, but they don't buy the amount of soda that's going to keep making them obese. This just doesn't make sense. The mayor? Yeah. The street. Exactly what he said. Oh, man. That's brutal. Just, this is just brutal. It's. 
I'm showing you guys like the, this mayor did a fantastic job of fighting off what they've been trying to gaslight and it's so true and it's funnier when they are able to get 